Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. I am back today with another plant video and today is day three of Vlogmas. I thought for today's video I would do something a little different. Normally I show you all of my happy, healthy plants that I'm proud of and for a change I'm going to show you some of the plants that I'm currently killing and are not doing so well. I think a lot of people who post their plants online, they only show the good side of things and they don't show the plants that don't make it. And it doesn't mean you're a bad plant parent if you have plants that die. It's totally normal. <laughs> so here are some of mine. I chose five of them to show you. Every winter I do have a few that don't end up making it. and. These are the ones that are currently dying for me. So the first one I showed you on Sunday and it is my Peperomia Piccolo. I don't know what to say about this one. There are no words. The leaves are all falling off and drying up. I don't know if it wants more water or less water or what? Peperomias just tend to hate me, sadly. <laughs> the next one is my teddy bear vine. I don't know the scientific name of this one. I just liked it because it has fuzzy leaves and I went through a phase where I really liked plants with fuzzy leaves. This one lives on my bookshelf here in the bedroom. And I water it probably every other week. I usually test the soil with my moisture meter first. And what this one is doing is losing all of the leaves towards the base of the plant. And somewhat yellowing as well. The next one I swore I wouldn't kill. But it is the silver dollar vine. The scientific name is too hard for me to pronounce, but I will put it on the screen if you are interested. It did have another vine growing right here. I don't do too well with succulents, but I really wanted to try my hand at this one because I really love the way it looks. And I'm not sure what's wrong with it either. It just keeps dropping leaves left and right. The next one is a Ripsalis. I purchased this one at either Home Depot or Lowe's over the summertime and it was doing great until I left it out in the sun and I sunburned the crap out of it and half the plant died back. It is still hanging on for dear life <laughs> and maybe pieces of this plant will make it actually. Hopefully. But this is what it looks like now. Poor little thing. And then this beautiful plant, little lipstick plant. I was giving this one very low light and overwatering it, I believe. I had it in my kitchen above my cupboard, and the leaves all fell off, and most of the plant died off. This is what remains. It does seem to have new leaves coming in here and there. So I do have hope for it since I moved it into my bedroom, which is a lot sunnier when I cut back on the watering. But I laugh at this one every time I walk by <laughs> and just feel bad for it. I also thought I would show you a few plants that I have brought back from the brink of death to give you hope, I suppose, that even if you are killing a plant, you may be able to save it. This one is a Hoya DS70. And I had this one in soil for the longest time and it was slowly dying. I ended up transferring it to LECA and it's been doing really, really great since then. I don't know if you can see down in this pot, but there are very small baby leaves poking through. 
and it has some active growth points. I'm very happy about that. The next one is my aloe vera and this one has a similar story to my ripsalis. I did leave this one in very bright sun over the summertime and killed most of the plant. It is recovering very nicely now that it's inside, however, and these two leaves in the middle are brand new. This one is my Pilea peperomioides. I've actually had this plant for a couple of years now. It started off as a coffee table plant and it slowly declined in health over the years and propagated it in water and replanted it and all of these leaves are brand new. This one is my Monstera siltipicana and this one technically wasn't dying. I did receive it from Etsy and it showed up as just one vine where I was promised a full plant <laughs> and the vine was not doing too hot so I did end up chopping it up and propagating it and this is after several months of doing so and trying to fill the pot back up but it's growing very nicely for me and is very healthy now. And then last but not least I have my Hoya Multiflora. This is another one I purchased online and it was kind of struggling over the summertime, not gonna lie. I kind of thought that it was not going to make it. However, it is still actively growing. There are some baby leaves down in there and it is currently flowering. This one is often referred to as a shooting star Hoya because of the shape of the flowers. And this is actually one of the first Hoyas I've ever had bloom for me, which is really exciting. That is everything I have to show you today. I actually have quite a few plants that are not doing too hot right now, but if I showed you all of them, this would be a very long video. I just thought it was kind of a fun thing to do. <laughs> Maybe you guys can relate to me in the fact that you also kill plants from time to time. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Bye!